Hi, I'm Rachel Michiko Whitney with ID8 TV here with Susie Nakamura. She is one of the series regulars on the ABC sitcom Dr. Ken. Hi, Susie, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, so tell us a little bit about how you first got into acting. Did you grow up um, loving performing or did something else get you into the industry? I think I did. I think my first production was like a, you know, a grade school production mm -hmm. and I I kind of liked it, but I didn't love it, and I was also awful. It was awful. It was HMS Pinafore, and I was Buttercup, and I just wasn't. I just, I just talked really softly, and I, and everyone was kept telling me like, speak up, we can't hear you, and I just, I couldn't do it. Like, I just physically couldn't do it, and I don't know why that sort of spawned an interest in it, but I felt like, I don't know, I just, I, there was something about it that I liked, and I couldn't quite put a finger on it. I did it in high school, and I did it through college, but it, I didn't consider it a job. I just kind of did it. And then uh, I had the opportunity to audition for Second City, and that was sort of a game changer for me. Where you, where I, there was the first time I saw it as a career, you know, or a job at least where I can get paid, and, you know, get health insurance and weird right, stuff that right. my dad was worried about. So from Chicago, did you move to L.A.? Mm -hmm. uh, did a job bring you here, or did you just think that there would be more opportunities for you in L.A.? Uh, I did a movie in Chicago. In Chicago, I did mostly theater, and I did, like, industrials and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I did a, my first movie, and I loved it. It was so different. Mm -hmm. And so I knew if I really wanted to continue to do movies, I would have to move to Los Angeles. So I did, and I didn't have a job or anything. Mm -hmm. um, but I just uh, I kind of I babysat people's kids for money. And uh, That's what I'm doing tonight. Yeah, oh, cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll lead to great things. <laughs> cool. Um, so congratulations on Dr. Ken being picked up for season number two. Um, how has that experience been for you working with the actors and do you, are you involved at all in the writing process or not really? Uh, we have input because you know we have a better idea of who our characters are sometimes, mm -hmm. um, but the writers do all of it. We have an amazing um, writing staff and Ken is an executive producer, so he oversees all that stuff, and you know, and post production as well. Mm -hmm. And so, I feel like we're taken care of. And as far as a work experience goes, it's kind of like any job. Like even if you were in an office, if you liked the people that you worked with, you look right. forward to going to work yeah. every day. Right. And that's what this cast is: like yeah. Tisha Campbell Martin and Dave Foley and Albert Tsai mm -hmm. and Krista Marie Yu and and uh, Jonathan Slavin and of course Ken Jong. Like they make it such a wonderful work environment mm -hmm. that you know I look forward to going and being creative with them and putting the show together every week. Um, do you have any passion projects that you want to be working on or any stories that you would like um, to be told on the big screen or as a TV series? Um, as my TV daughter, uh, Krista, gets older, I would love to see some parallels with the, the, you know, the struggles that I think every teenage girl goes through and I, hopefully we can put portray that through comedy in some way. I don't have any specific specific ideas, but I feel like if, if you're a teenager and you're watching a show and you kind of see your problem on television, maybe it wouldn't seem so awful. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, and then also, because I'm also an actress, so I have a question just about okay. the audition process for you, how it has changed over the years. Like, do you still get nervous, like for uh, Dr. Ken? How it's changed for me? Yeah, for you. I. I think in the beginning, um, I I thought, well, what are they expecting? Mm -hmm. And so I would try and live up to these unknown expectations. Mm -hmm. But the more comfortable I got with um, the audition process and just sort of analyzing a script and who a character is, mm -hmm. uh, I, I started going into auditions going, I'm going to do it the way I think it should be done. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know what they want. <laughs> Because you're creating a character kind of that doesn't exist yet because it hasn't been cast yet. Mm -hmm. So I started going in doing what I wanted and I started being more successful. <laughs> I mean, at least getting auditions. Because when you think about it, that's your, um, that's your singular expression of this character that no one else is going to do. 
So I just, it just, I just needed more time and I just needed a little more confidence and I li needed a little more experience to actually create characters that were unique that got me the job. All right, well, thank you so much for your time and congratulations on all your success and best of luck with your future. Thank you. I'm Rachel Michiko Whitney with ID8 TV.